Some leaked photos show us the curved Galaxy Note 7, which is not just taller than the S7. Other leaks show us the possible Google Android Wear smartwatches and what they will look like. And my god, can someone save us from the frenzy being caused by Pokemon Go? I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, as compelled as I am to try that Pokemon Go game, the last thing I want is to be run over by a car. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today began, again, with deals. Those of you in the market for one of my favorite smartwatches of all time, the Moto 360 second generation is currently for $160 on eBay in two different color variants. Uh, yeah, you're asking what the catch is? Well, these are manufacturer refurbished products. Yes, these products are not new, but my God, for $160, that is a true steal. I highly suggest you consider. And the other official news today has to do with Pokemon Go, oh, my God. This game has taken the world by storm, and it's cool, it's made people more active, it's made kids go out. The problem is when you have the New York City subway MTA service tweeting the fact that regardless of that Pokemon that you see there, you shouldn't cross the yellow line and jump where the train tracks are. It's happening a lot. There are some accidents being caused, obviously people are tripping. True, it's proving the fact that augmented reality does have a future. It probably has a larger future than VR, mainly because of how much people have adopted it. We cannot wait to see more, especially some sort of smart restriction here. Now, these are some very interesting statistics that are claiming that the iPhone 7 will be a massive hit in sales. Much better than the iPhone 6S, mainly because of one particular reason. And that's the fact that 44% of iPhone users are set for contract upgrade because their contracts are currently either two years or reaching two years or above. So this could mean that there is a 44% market potential of people that are going to get this new iPhone. Makes a lot of sense. It's usually been the case for Apple. Uh, but then again, there is no guarantee given the fact that there are awesome competing devices out there that people can also buy. Not necessarily waiting for that iPhone. Now some very interesting leaks show us what to expect from the possible Google-made Android Wear smartwatches. We're still waiting for Android Wear 2.0 to reach at least beta in watches, no case here. But we have heard that Google's working on this project. Today we see the first leaks. Now these leaks are not necessarily accurate because apparently the source is protecting anonymity, but we do see both smartwatches. Angelfish, which is going to be the LTE capable variant, and then Swordfish, which is going to be the regular variant. Obviously one is beefier than the other, bulkier. Um, these watches look normal. They don't look crazy hot, just like pretty much every Nexus smartphone out there, but we could be onto something cool here. Hopefully we don't have to wait until these watches are out to see what Android Wear 2.0 performs like. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the leaked images of the Galaxy Note 7. Yes, it's like if you're looking at a Galaxy S7 Edge on a table, pretty much almost identical except for two things. Number one, the iris scanner that we've talked about. Number two, if you look closely, this phone is actually thicker than the Galaxy S7 Edge. And it makes sense. Last year, the Galaxy Note 5 was significantly thicker than the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. But then again, a lot of it had to do with housing the stylus. Another had to do with obviously the beefier battery. So we are expecting to actually get that beefier battery on this Galaxy Note 7, but it does lead me to the question of the day. What do you think about the leaks? Do you like what you see with this Galaxy Note 7 Edge? Is it something that you're looking forward to? Do you mind the added thickness? In my case, no, I actually want that added thickness. One of the things I don't like about the S7 Edge is the fact that the bezels are so thin that it's really difficult to use that phone without touching the display and there is no palm rejection here for you to protect the edge display from activating itself when you try to take a photo or something so leave us a comment down below we'd love to know what you think friends you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one you can also catch our videos on vessel vessel.com pocketnow and follow me on twitter jaime underscore rivera on instagram at jaime rivera Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.